What's up guys, Aaron here, and today we're going to be talking about 10 reasons why the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 could be considered better than the Apple iPhone 5S. Now this video is a part 2 in a two-part series. The first video was 10 reasons why the Apple iPhone 5S could be considered better than the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I'm going to go ahead and drop a link to that video down in the description. Be sure to check it out and check out some of the great features of the Apple iPhone 5S. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on 10 reasons why the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 could be considered better than the Apple iPhone 5S. So first, number one is a bigger screen. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 has a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and has 386 PPI. Now when it comes to the Apple iPhone 5S, we only get a four inch screen. Now a bigger screen size on an Apple iPhone has definitely plagued Apple for the longest time. They've only bumped it up to a four inch screen so far. So as you can see here next to a iPod Touch fifth generation, as well as the Apple iPhone 5S, how much bigger that screen is. Now one thing that I do like about the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is how thin it is. And even though it is a phablet, it is still extremely thin. And you can see the Apple iPhone 5S fits inside the entire screen of the Note 3. Next, number two, and highly controversial, is the plastic body build. Now on the Note 3, Samsung again chose to go with a plastic body and plastic material on this phone. You can see they added a folio style back, which I do like. It has some very nice stitching and gives it a leather look. However, at the end of the day, it is still a plastic phone. And there's definitely some pros with some cons to this plastic material. The pros being that the fact that you can remove the battery since the back is removable. And another pro is that you can add an SD card with expandable memory. So if you have multiple SD cards, let's say one SD card holds your music, another SD card holds your movies, you can easily swap those out and bring your whole multimedia library with you anywhere you go. This lightweight and plastic design also makes for less drop damage. So if you happen to drop your device, you can tell that it's not going to create a huge dent or ding for the simple fact that it doesn't weigh as much because it's made out of a plastic material. And that being in comparison to a device such as the Apple iPhone 5S or the HTC One M8. So once again, the plastic body design is a very highly controversial subject. So let me know down in the comments section below what you think about the plastic design. And next number three is three gigabytes of RAM. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 was one of the first devices ever to have three gigabytes of RAM. Now there has been several devices to come out lately that also have three gigabytes of RAM on board. And I'd have to say that this is one of the fastest phones that I've used alongside the HTC One M8. And that's definitely saying something about this device as the Note 3 is running a very heavily skinned version of TouchWiz. So to see it run extremely fast and fluent is definitely awesome. There's absolutely no loss of frame rate and no stutter or lag on the device whatsoever. Next number four is 4K video recording. So the Note 3 is capable of recording 4K video as you can see here, all you need to do is go into the video settings. You can slide all the way up to the top at 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. Now the iPhone 5S on the other hand is capable of 120 frame per second slow motion. Next number five is a removable battery. Now if you're a power user of your phone, which I consider to be myself, I use my phone all day. I'm always on Twitter and Instagram. If you haven't followed me, I'm at review the best on both then you know having a removable battery and having a secondary battery to be able to insert is definitely an awesome feature. Next number six is expandable memory. Now on the Note 3 you have the option and availability to add 64 gigabytes of external memory. Whereas with the Apple iPhone 5S, whatever memory you buy is what you're stuck with. Next is the 3200 milliamp hour battery. Now everybody knows that there's no point in having a good cell phone or any device on you if the phone is dead or the device is dead in your pocket. So having a battery that's going to last all day and possibly two days on a single charge is definitely mandatory and a must, like I said, if you're a power user like myself. Now during all my tests that I ran, I got a full day's use using it extremely heavily and using it very light, I got two days use out of it tops. Now on the other hand, my Apple iPhone 5S, I have to recharge the device at least one time a day. So I can't even make it through a full day charge on the Apple iPhone 5S. And you have to keep in mind when it comes to specs, the Apple iPhone 5S actually has almost half the size of the Note 3's battery. Next number eight is multi-window. And multi-window first has to be turned on in the settings. Now once you've done so, you'll see this little tab in the middle on the left hand side of your screen. Go ahead and pull that out. And as you can see, they have certain applications that are dedicated and allow you to run multitasking, in my opinion, the way it should be, which is two screens at once. As you can see here, I am looking through my files as well as browsing the internet. At the same time, I can resize the screen, which in my opinion is an extremely awesome feature and is currently only available on a couple devices that I'm aware of. 
and is definitely not available on the Apple iPhone 5S. Next number 9 is USB 3.0. Now having a USB 3.0 connection and cable is a big plus and there is two big reasons why. One of the biggest reasons why is that you are able to transfer data a lot faster with this 3.0 cable. Now the other big reason is that you're able to charge up the device a lot faster than you would be able to with a standard plug. And also it is backwards compatible with the USB 2.0 plug. And number 10 and the last and final reason why the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 could be considered better than the Apple iPhone 5S is the S Pen. Now the S Pen is extremely unique to the Note 3. This isn't just your average stylus, it is extremely sensitive and works extremely well with the Note 3's screen. Now you can do such things with the S Pen like take a screenshot and as soon as you pull out the S Pen you're greeted with this error command menu. Now accessing the error command menu will easily let you take a note as well as painting the actual window on the screen that will bring up an application where you can then multitask. Now the S Pen has been a huge factor for me when it comes to the Note 3 and has been one big reason why I've always chosen the Note series over the S series lineup such as the S5. Now when it comes to the Apple iPhone 5S, Steve Jobs swore up and down that he would never add a stylus to any iOS device ever made. However, there is talks of an Apple iPhone 6 being 4.7 inches as well as 5.5 inches. Now if we do get a 5.5 inch phablet style Apple iPhone 6, would you guys be interested in seeing and receiving a stylus with that phablet style phone? Be sure to answer that question down below in the comments section. I'm interested to know your guys' thoughts on this particular subject. Now before I head out of here guys, I want to remind you that I also made a video going over 10 reasons why the Apple iPhone 5S could be considered better than the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Once again, it will be linked down below. Make sure you're subscribed to be notified of future content. Like I said before, my name is Aaron and I'll see you guys on the next one.